A4 Media, all rights reserved. What's up, girl? Ain't nothing. This nigga ain't here stressing, talking that old off the wall, back to Africa shit again. What? That guy body shit? Yeah, that dumb shit. I'm trying to get up out of here. I hear that. You know, I enjoy seeing people in healthy, flourishing relationships. You know, I enjoy seeing our daughters and sons and mothers and fathers together. I haven't seen enough of it. That's why I enjoy it. I haven't seen enough of it. What I have seen is a lot of um, dysfunction and sabotage, man. And like, truthfully, it's very unfortunate. It's disheartening. It's unsavory. It's not something to be encouraged. I mean, I'll, I mean, to, to, to know that, you know, if you have a daughter, she can become a baby mother with a baby daddy. And a daughter views our sons as sperm donors not as a life partner not as an ally not as a friend not as a lover that's very distasteful especially when We have our sons who are viewed and treated as sperm donors that see themselves lesser than that. They see themselves as an object. Our sons have been taught to objectify themselves just as much as our daughters have. And then, as a result, they objectify each other. They see each other as playthings. With no awareness of their longevity, their health, their collective wellness. And this is why I enjoy seeing people in relationships. To those of you in relationships, man... Yo, I appreciate you. Um, yo, y'all stay together and y'all do what y'all gotta do for each other, man. And y'all, if y'all can, man, get with get with others, get with others that are in relationships, man. And y'all do what y'all gotta do together to support and sustain the life of each other. You know, we got a lot of work to do as American people, as the original indigenous talks and as Aboriginal American people, man. We got a lot of work to do. I will encourage you to reduce the, the turmoil in your, in, within your homes. Make your home a home. So your daughters and sons can appreciate knowing what a home is. Can appreciate knowing what love is. Can appreciate knowing what relativity is. Between a mother and a father, a daughter and a son. Life partners. So they can know what a life partner is. Because they have that 
functioning, healthy model in front of them. This is why I say Coward season is over. Because we've been tolerating too much cowardly deeds, man. Too much. And where we are today where we can't support each other? Within our own homes, we see people from our own homes supporting everything outside of the home. How's the home being supported? People talk about community building, right? So, let's say a community is composed of numerous homes, right? Families, and, you know, mothers and fathers, daughters and sons. And in each of these homes, turmoil exists. In each one. What does that do to that community? Now, okay, add this to the, add this to the equation. You probably heard me say this before. Let's say you got 10 people with 10 homes. One home, one person sane. The other nine people or homes is insane. That one home is going to become insane. Why? Because it's going to adapt to its environment. That one person will adapt to that insanity that it's surrounded by. So this is why I encourage those of you that are in relationships get together with other people's relationships man do what y'all can to support each other to sustain the longevity of each other much appreciation cow season over Tom Mark Tony African American 8-4 Truth 8-4 Media